guys welcome back this is dr quarter fix in today's video i'm gonna be teaching you guys the location of the inputs and the output speed sensor for infinity fx 35 2004 model you know the reason why i want to pull this information out there for you guys is because uh, when I was working on this very car here, I was searching for it all over the place and uh, I didn't see any specific video that actually talked about it or something of that nature. So I decided I wanna put it out for you guys, for most of you who might be having any problem related to that so you can know exactly where it is and how to get your hands on it. So without wasting much of your time, let's... So this is the big guy right here. Now, what is it? Most of the video which I've been work, uh, looking at were telling that is actually within the transmission system, inside the transmission system. So that could be very misleading. So here, I've come to a lot of place to find it. And uh, let me go. So you will want to go ahead and find something to put on the car and lift it up off the ground a little bit. So that's what we're going to do first. Let's see if this guy can be able to do it. If he can help us. Ouch. Okay. Whoa. It seems like uh, it's supposed to, but it's just a little bit. So guys, just a moment. Let me get this shit up. Bam. I'm not a Spider-Man or the Superman, so oh, you didn't grab it well. Sorry, guys. Just a little bit, moment. One more time. I got an idea. I'm gonna pull this guy here, and this guy's gonna help me do the job without the jack. Well, don't take my word for it. I'm just messing with you. Okay. Let's see what's gonna do this time. It's gonna be like a trick. Okay. The camera is all over the place. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be complaining already. You are good with complaining, but you're not good with Showing gratitude. That's the kind of terrible word we have these days. People complain a lot. Any little thing, they complain. And they're not so quick and also thanking people who are saving their ass. Okay. This is more like a uh, the video for someone who got one hand. Okay, finally, I think I've got it right. Okay, so let's see what it does. And she's going on. Okay, finally. Now it doesn't go up too much, so don't be scared. I'm gonna be going on done it right now. Okay, over here, just after the transmission, uh, oil pan uh, bottom case, which is this guy here. Look over here, just that way the transmission and the engine were merged together. That is the input shaft, input speed sensor right there. Hope that is clear. Now it's time for us to watch out for. This is pretty much simple to get a hands on on my product camera for most of you who still haven't found it. This is the guy. So, in order for you to check it, you can remove it. It's been held in place by 10 millimeter screw right there 
what the hell look at it 10 millimeter screw so unscrew it this the input speed sensor have three pins that's what you have to know about this guy here now for whatever you do on this car don't pray that you have any problem you want to inspect this guy if you're checking for any loss of communication with the input transmission input speed sensor and make sure that uh, there is no damage around here right or this other side here now if you are i i don't probably you know have any problem with uh this car replacing the uh starter motor because it's gonna be tricky because it's pretty much hidden inside there so now they have actually replaced this one and it didn't solve their problem which you can just uh report you know from there so now i've checked this it's not having any problem so i'm gonna go ahead and uh put it back now it's locked up locked in so the next one here which is a little bit uh, tricky uh, I don't know why the manufacturer has to do it this way but pretty much looking at this very transmission I know it has gone through a lot I'm seeing some kind of stuff down there so you now a lot of you guys are already in a hurry where is the output speed sensor so you want to follow the transmission pan oil pan this down here is quite tight Okay, and uh, that's why the camera is all over the place. Let me zoom out. Okay, now you want to follow the transmission. Okay, down to where it got the. I don't know if it is the answer that you call this guy here. So within here, just between the junction where the catalytic converter, the two, where the exhaust match together. Not at the back has a dough. You can see right now where they are matched together. That's a point where you want to be looking at. And over here. That's the hope you guys can see it right now. So let me see if I can shine a light on it. Okay, the battery is low and it cannot shine any light on it. So that's the output shaft speed sensor here. Okay guys, so uh, pretty much this is it uh, for most of you guys who are looking for it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be complaining. And be ranting, oh, you wasted my time. You should have just shown me where it is. Now I got a bunny or something I want to show you guys. The car is complaining of oxygen sensor, and look at it right there. It was stripped naked. Look at oh my gosh, what a puck! What a puck, man. Look at it. The whole wire is out, man. I don't know who this this kind of who do this kind of a shady shady work. No, 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 no. Look at it. I'm trying to give you guys a nice shot, but this camera is misbehaving because the battery is low. But this is why I'm gonna be cutting it off right now. Catch you guys later. Don't forget to give a thumbs up to this very video. To help others who are looking for it like you to find it. Catch you later. Bye for now.